Hi, my name is Bruce Webb, coach and owner at the Entrepreneur Incubator. Have you ever sometimes wondered why your clients don't get what you're trying to sell them? Have you ever wondered why there's some sort of communication gap that you, what you say to clients filled with inspiration and love, they just don't seem to connect with it? Or maybe you're speaking the wrong type of sales at the wrong time. Now in any sales cycle, there's four different types of conversations that you should be having with your clients. Firstly, if you're selling a new product, you've got to inform your client about what you sell. The word inform implies information. You've got to go there. It's the first knock on the door. It's like, hello, did you know that this sort of stuff is on the market? Secondly, you've then got to educate. Now, education is all about showing the potential customer how your widget works. Maybe it's a new technology. Maybe the, the, the bridge is so far that you've got to help bring that customer closer through education. Example of this would be a web um, application that comes with a whole bunch of videos, instruction videos, and helping you set up and get started and move on out of the starting blocks. Even before you've bought the software, they take you on this education journey. If you're selling anything that requires a little bit of education, you need to market and sell with a bit of education that goes with it. Then we come to the actual sale. This is the ka moment. This is the time where we can then translate our information and our education into a sale. And this is often the part that we just want to leap in right from the beginning. But we've got to be patient, we've got to pause, and we've got to allow the first stages for, that, for the customer to um, absorb that information and then create that need within themselves through that. Now once you've sold, the fourth type of marketing that you're going to do is obviously the resale. Because it's ten times easier to sell to an existing customer than to have to start all over again and go down that thing. So we've got four different phases in the sales cycle. Firstly, providing information to inform the client. Secondly, to educate and to bridge the gap of knowledge and then to sell, and then if you're lucky enough to be able to resell to existing customers. I trust this has been helpful for you. My name is Bruce Wade, coach and owner at the Entrepreneur Incubator.